Just a heads up, I am not claiming to be a Zolra expert, but what I am going to tell you is, if you look at this chart, you are going to be confused as fuck. And that's why I'm going to tell you about this here Zolra Helper plugin on Runelite. It will make things 10 times easier so that you are not looking at the code of the pyramids and trying to figure out how the aliens built them. I am stupid, okay? I cannot remember all of these Zolra rotations. And this thing has saved my life. Now look guys, I understand how intimidating Zolra is. And that's why I've made this picture of Zolra with some pink fluff. It's scary. I get it. But by the time this video is over, you're going to go in there and whoop that ass and you're going to walk out and you're going to say It's Brittany, bitch. Alright, now I need you to go into RuneLite and install Zolra Helper. Once you have it, just type this in to make sure that you actually have it and that it's on. Alright, so what's going to happen next is I'm going to play some clips of me actually killing Zolra and using the plugin. One thing I want to say is I'm going to be using a very cheap setup. It's probably one of the cheapest setups you can get besides what you see the bots wearing in Mystics. I do recommend using an Occult over the Fury that I am using, so just use the best gear you have. Alright guys, I'm going to be kind of holding your hand through this first clip here and then maybe I'll overlay some music over the next two and just kind of let you watch how I do it. So you can see the Zolra helper here on the right. You're always going to start off on the range phase. That's a given. So range is obviously green. Um, you actually don't need to pray range here. I set up my quick prayers for just like magic and um, yeah, uh, potion booster whatever anyway so he's spitting out his poison and right now he's on the range phase now you can see he's switched over to the range phase again so that's when i clicked on the you have to manually click on it and that's why this is allowed as an available plugin because it doesn't automatically pick the next phase for you but once you see zora pop up you go ahead and pick the next phase now the way you read this is you go down and then you go left to right so you can see I pre-selected the next phase that was going to pop up just so it was already kind of available. But now you can see that the next phase is going to be magic and that's going to be on the right side there. So here in a second you'll see me click the box and switch over. Now at this point you don't have to keep clicking the boxes once you get this far but it helps you maintain like where you're at in the phase. And I'm going to warn you it's really hard to be like trying to kill Zora and do like change the box and pay attention to that at the same time but then again like if you're trying to think about what's next you may freak out so for me this this helped me I mean I only had like one or two Zolra kills before I got this and then I immediately did a hundred the same day that I figured out how to use this plugin so you can see now I haven't switched over yet I don't even know if I will at this point um, so yeah I did there but usually once I get it about halfway down, I've, I've got to the point now where I can kind of remember some of the phases. Now, as I filmed these clips, I hadn't done Zora since my first 100 kills, which was like a month or two ago. So I was a little rough around the edges in this video. And I'm also not wearing the best gear. <coughs> Excuses. But uh, I do recommend you bring at least an occult to switch out with the Fury or whatever the ranging necklace is. I totally forgot the name of it right now. But um, Elite Void will definitely get you through, no problem, with a blowpipe and the trident of the swamp, or seas, whatever. Um, now, you're going to see a dot down on the bottom that's multicolored. That means that's the jad phase where it switches from range to mage. And that one, if you're shitty at, uh, if you're shitty at prayer switching like I am, like I just tank it out on mage prayer usually. Um, hopefully you kill it before it gets to the jad phase. But that's really it, guys. And then the thing is... Um, this plugin comes on automatically as soon as you go on to Zolandra, like whenever you get close to the dock, it'll come on. You don't have to turn it on or anything like that as long as it's on in your actual plugins in the settings. But um, And then you just click refresh. You can see the little refresh icon in the top right there. As long as you click that, you'll be reset, you'll be good to go. And then you just select the next phase and you just follow it through.
Well, if this video helped you get your first Zora kill, be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below. And remember to subscribe and like the video. And lastly, don't forget... It's Britney, bitch.